Norman Rockwell's 1928 painting, Checkers, is a beautiful example of his story illustration. And Checkers is an example of a story in which an author wrote about a clown who'd been with the circus for a long time named Smokey Joe. And he was feeling a little bit down, and his friends, his colleagues in the circus were allowing him to win at a game of checkers, which by Rockwell's painting gives us a sense that he's actually cheering up. It was just the type of illustration that Rockwell loved to do at that time. It was really filled with uh, costumes and props, uh, the dog laying by the side of the clown are wonderful indications of the kinds of interconnectivity that Rockwell brought uh, to his characters, plots, and settings in story illustrations. So here the New Orleans style comes in at the beginning. Seven, eight. And, and then, uh, <laughs> well, and then so the beginning when they're, when, when the clown, and of course this will be probably the tenor voice, uh, the counter tenor. Or right? the counter tenor, counter -tenor. right. Counter -tenor. So this will be an octave higher. It doesn't and, matter. Right yeah. now it's bass, right? Bass so at yeah, this point, yeah. Fine. So it will be. be also and then, so it says, I'm not funny anymore. And, and then the band comes in. And this will have the trombone. The first voice we hear is the clown saying, I'm not funny anymore. And so I actually use the uh, the subplot of the of the painting uh, to generate a kind of story where the other three characters sort of make the plan to let the clown win in the game of checkers, and then at that point, once the idea uh, takes shape that they're going to play, and he says, "Okay, I'll play," and then uh, from this point onward. Uh, the piece goes into a really rapid seven. And that, to me, gives a feeling of intensity and also the kind of excitement and also maybe the geometric qualities in a checker game, sort of bouncing around back and forth. And so that intense seven uh, will, you know, maintains itself throughout the rest of the piece. I'm very excited about this piece because it's, um, a very special texture with just the soloists and the instruments and uh, of course the, the challenging uh, seven rhythms. Um, I think it will be a fantastic piece to showcase the singers and uh, have these individual characters come to life and I think John really masterfully uh, did this exchange between the group of the three and the soloists.